today we are going to use coefficient variance decomposition method to detect multicollinearity coefficient variance decomposition method was invented by Wellesley Cole and Bench one way of interpreting coefficient variance decomposition criteria is to check the condition number if the condition number is smaller than 1 by 900 or what you say 0 0.001 that could signify the presence of multicollinearity. If there are more than one most condition numbers then the decomposition proportions should be investigated. I will try to explain this with a simple example. I have a file here. It's in eViews. The dependent variable is sales and I have independent variables Edward, discount, price, and quality. I write a regression equation. Sales is my dependent variable. Independent variables Edward, discount, price, quality. I run the regression. Now we we'll use the method. Go to coefficient diagnostics and then coefficient variance decomposition proportions. What you need to check is these. The condition numbers, if it is less than 0 0.001, in this case, this and this has values less than 0 0.001, indicating that there could be multicollinearity problem then we need to look at these variance decomposition proportions now i look at the first column i look at the first column i see if i see a value greater than 0 0.5 that suggests to me multicollinearity in the first column i see only the value of a constant that's fine with me multicollinearity with constant is not an issue Whereas if I look at with the variables, this variable is less than 0 0.5, 0 0.5, this is less than 0 0.5, this is less than 0 0.5, this is less than 0 0.5. However, in the second column, when I investigate, discount is greater than 0 0.5, and price is greater than 0 0.5. Whereas in other columns, there are uh, only one uh, variable uh, uh, eigenvalue is greater than 0 0.5 proportion. Whereas in column 4 and column 5, there isn't much of a problem. So it suggests that there is a high multicollinearity between discount and price as the values are greater than 0.5. So from this, I conclude that discount and price is highly correlated. Thank you.